always fed the animal kingdom because it has loads of benefits. Birds fly in a B formation like this to reduce their energetic costs. Other benefits of living in groups include a reduction in predation risk and social learning. Now Japanese macaques are a really good example of social learning. One individual learned to wash his sweet potatoes in salty water. It got rid of the mud and seasoned his food. This behaviour has now spread from individual to individual throughout the community. Social learning, which is when an animal changes its behaviour after watching other members of the group, is a regular feature of higher vertebrate life. You were a god in my eyes, above the clouds, above the skies. You were a god in my eyes. You were a god. But would you be surprised to learn that fish also benefit from social learning? I was. I mean, I knew shoaling fish followed where the others were going, but I didn't know they paid attention to what they were actually doing. There are many types of social learning, and I wanted to find out whether the way that fish learn from each other is simple or whether it's more complex, like the way that macaques learn from each other. You took me walking through the town, showed me the statues underground, said just don't they look at peace, sometimes I wish that was me. So when social learning does occur in fish, do they just follow any other individual? Well, during my initial research, I found out that some fish are more likely to emerge as leaders and be copied than others. This leadership has been linked to boldness, which is another surprising fact, because I didn't know that fish had individual personalities. So I also set out to find exactly what effect personality has on leadership and social learning within a shoal, using domestic guppies, whose wild counterparts originated from streams just like this in Trinidad. Like a fallen log to dream of things like a little river to the golden ground.